Good morning. How y'all are? I'm done glad you can see me. You done glad you can see me too. I guarantee I done fixing to tell you a story about a ting I did. Anyway, sorry about that. I'm watching some Justin Wilson. Uh, for those of you who know who he is and watched this cooking show in the 80s and 90s, you're welcome. So, I guarantee I did a ting. I did a ting. I did. It was a good ting. I guarantee. So yesterday, I graduated from PT. Yep, physical therapy is done. Um, yeah, it was kind of surreal. Uh, Nancy, my amazing physiotherapist, uh, yesterday, yesterday and I did some testing. Uh, during the testing, we determined I'm apparently above average. Um, hence, she has no longer need to work with me, per se, because in Ontario, it's based on a funding model from OHIP. Uh, it was free, didn't cost me a dime, and as long as I still meet a certain criteria, or I'm under that criteria, I, uh, I get physiotherapy for free, doesn't cost me a dime. So, yesterday she did some testing, and that's regular, you know, it, every month or 45 days they'll do testing. And I knew eventually this day would come, I just wasn't sure when. Um, and... I graduated, so no more PT for me, right? There's the story. Um, and luckily, it doesn't include three tablespoons of salt, half a pound of butter, and some brandy. About five cups of and okra. <clears throat> so, that being said, I've just had another transition, right? Um, as I've said before, transitions could be either... Um, either a change in state of care or a change in state of ability. So I've had another transition, right? So I've changed A, a state of care, I'm no longer in physiotherapy, and B, I've changed the state of ability because I can do things today more readily, more easily, that even a month ago was a shit show. Uh, so now, I still qualify for physiotherapy, though, through my insurance through work, and I'm going to exploit that, because there's some gains I'd like to make uh, that I would like someone there to help me with, and if I get it for free, better yet. So, it's a bit surreal, right? Like, so you, you do these appointments for months and months and months and months, in my case, a little over three, and it comes to an end. Now, in some cases, that relationship is scheduled to come to an end. In other cases, it's not. Um, I was in counseling. That had to end due to the, the funding model it was under. I'm waiting to have a conversation with the insurance company on Monday uh, about my long-term disability claim. And they don't know it yet, but they're going to fund it. Yeah, they don't know. Um... When I talked to my GP, even he wasn't sure of the process of getting me another eye exam paid for by the government. Um, and I had to tell him, no, I've, I've called OHIP and I need a, a, a note from you. And they're like, no, 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 you need to know. How am I getting an optometrist to write me a note for an optometrist? They don't know I've had a stroke. I need that to come from you, my GP. So that, that happened. Uh, I've contacted a ophthalmologist that deals specifically with neurological events. Fortunately, I'm told it's not covered by OHIP, but the insurance company, they don't know this yet, but they're going to cover it. Because um, I just want to make sure that neurologically, ophthalmologically, like with my vision, there's no issues. Because there can be vision issues. I, I may have to go to a yellow tint lens, um, possibly. But I'll let the experts make that decision. Well, I've had a couple of people I know, uh, physiotherapist, my occupational therapist, and a couple actual friends, uh, let me know that that actually might be beneficial. So that might be happening. I really don't know. Um, so it was actually quite a sense of accomplishment yesterday to know that things that I couldn't do Two months ago that 
were just a big no, or I'd get, I would be done physio, <clears throat> and I would end up at home and in bed for hours, if not the rest of the day. Um, there were days where I would start physio at the beginning of this journey, and I would be a write-off for five to 15 hours afterwards, like literally in bed, you're done. Whatever plans you thought you had, they done changed. Uh, guarantee. Yeah, there's no okra, brandy, salt, or butter involved. Uh, now, because there's been a state of change and state of care, right, I've no longer got a reason to get out of the house. Which now means I need reasons of my own volition to get out of the house. Which means I'm going to start attending the Y. Uh, I'm going to give uh, my long-term group benefits insurance a call today to find out how I get a physiotherapist paid for um, on their dime, because they're going to pay for it. They just don't know it yet. <clears throat> and a lot of this comes back to that video I did on self-advocacy, right? You've got to be your own advocate. So... My initial round of occupational therapy, my initial round of speech pathology, my initial round of physiotherapy, that was all covered by the government, covered by OHIP, right? So the the two sessions I had with my OT, the three sessions I had with my speech pathologist, and the numerous sessions I had with Nancy, my physiotherapist, who's a wonderful lady. She is a brilliant, skilled, compassionate, empathetic reasonable woman who helped me find some challenges right right and she she's a credit to her institution and to her vocation right her profession she she is just an amazing wonderful brilliant lady i owe her a large debt of gratitude <clears throat> so nancy if you happen to watch this for all the cajoling um the, the humor, the ribbing we had back and forth, thank you for the humor. Um, you make amazing cookies, by the way. Um, thank you for your help, your assistance. Um, you were there during a very difficult and trying and scary period in my life. And, and I owe you a debt. Like, thank you. So, moving on. Um, now, I've had a state of change in both care and ability. Because apparently I'm able now, well, so to speak. Um, so, that now means I now realistically have, right now, no professional reason to get out of the house until I have that conversation on Monday with the, uh, the insurance company, right? So, what's going to happen now is I'm going to have to create reasons to get out of the house. So that now means I might need to go to the nearest major city closest to me to go to the mall and hang out for four or five hours in a row to try to get over that hurdle. Um, I have a professional appointment in November for um, uh, a, a medical appointment, but that's November. Um, I have an eye exam next week, but that's next week. However, between next Tuesday and November, I have no appointments. So I'm going to have to find reasons to get out of the house now. But it feels amazing to actually have made a major accomplishment, such as the graduation from physical therapy. Because let's be honest, you don't know what you don't know, because strokes are messy. And you don't know how long those relationships are going to be. You have no clue that you're going to be there for three months, three, you know, six weeks, six months, a year, right? Because there were people that were attending physio um, when I was there that had been coming to physio for almost a year because of their stroke. Now, mind you, they had significantly larger deficits than I did, right? I'm young. I was fairly physically fit. I was fairly healthy. I had a decent resting heart rate. Um, I wasn't fat, diabetic, drug addicted, you know, I didn't have a whole bunch of other contributing issues. 
I had stress and smoking. Right? Um, that being said, right now I don't really have any stress and I haven't had a cigarette in, since about an hour and a half, hour before my stroke. Um, and as far as the smoking, I'm on the scared shitless plan. I have no intention of going back to having cigarettes um, or pipe or tobacco or cigar or whatever. Um, that being said, I have um, no stress currently because, well, I'm not working, right? Um, that's not to say things can't be stressful occasionally, but, you know. So, the big takeaway is that, you know, I'm out of physical therapy, right? So, that's one more hurdle for my eventual plan to get back to work. Um, now it requires some investigation on my part to find a occupational therapist that'll assist me with return to work planning. Um, maybe get another physiotherapist on the private side. So one, I can get out of the house. Uh, and two, I can find someone to help push me, uh, uh, to help me with some exercises that might be specific to my situation. But we'll see what I need to do about that. Anyways, um, if you happen to know someone that's going currently going through their own stroke uh, recovery, reintegration, rehabilitation journey, um, if you happen to know someone that's supporting someone in their assault through their stroke, please recommend, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, leave comments if there's something you want to see me cover. Uh, oh, so I mentioned before um, about one of these Facebook groups and a herbal root medicine theory of fixing your strokiness well i've currently exchanged a number of emails with the offerer of this routine um and once i get some more information and some more emails i will share this with you in a debunking video about how this is just complete and absolute hogwash just charlatanism Almost as good as Dr. Oz, but the gentlemen or gentle people or persons I'm dealing with on the internets, they don't have a marketing plan like Dr. Oz. So I'm going to call him Mr. Oz because I don't consider him a doctor. He's a snake oil salesman. Um, but that's my own opinion. Anyways, so, and if you happen to, again, like, see, share, subscribe what you've been watching over the past almost four months, please do so. If you know someone that's going through their own journey from a stroke, please share the channel with them. And remember, if you happen to notice someone that appears to be going through the signs or symptoms of a stroke, either you or someone around you, being facial droop, uh, inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all, uh, inability to smile equally effectively or at all, uh, slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, inability to stand, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple could save a life.